believe that less than a decade ago, smartphones had not yet made an entrance into our lives. Today, it's nearly impossible to imagine our lives without them. But with all the convenience smartphones provide, should we be worried about how much information it has on us? What could your smartphone reveal about you? Now, whether it's the latest celebrity leaked photo scandal or the prospect of NSA spying that comes to mind, you'd be surprised by how much information can be leaked from your phone. Chances are, you're sharing a lot more personal information than you think. One of the easiest way information is leaked is by simply leaving our Wi-Fi turned on as we go about our day. When Wi-Fi is left on, you're sending out a virtual radio wave tracking of your every location as you pass through different Wi-Fi networks. Eventually, this records a virtual map of your frequent locations revealing your daily routes, habits, and unusual behavior. Now, this information is helpful for the NSA because they are attempting to analyze patterns of human behavior in order to prevent harmful action. However, the NSA does not have time to track every person's phone. That's where third-party tracking agencies come into the picture. Third-party companies collect information not only to sell to the NSA, but also to acquire their own database to sell to other prospective clientele. Large-scale companies would love to have personal insight on their clients to know exactly what they need to sell them. If a client consistently visits a gym four times a week, they would be a strong target to advertise exercise clothing and equipment. Now, their purposes may be logical, but many do not know they're being tracked, and they deserve the right to opt out should they choose. Although some forms of tracking can be prevented by simply changing a few settings in our phone, but depending on your phone, it may already be logging your frequent locations and routes on its own. Leaky applications and our web search histories provide a quick transfer of these natively stored location tracings, and far more through the apps and searches themselves. A study published by the Wall Street Journal revealed degrees of leakage within popular apps, categorized by information most vulnerable that can be distributed to other parties. Additionally, every time you take a picture from a smartphone, your location is stored within that photo, and once shared online, the location data can be extracted to reveal where you are, what time, and what you are doing. Now, if you're adequately panicked, ready to destroy your smartphone, and live as a hermit covered in tinfoil, don't worry. Take a deep breath and let's go through the ways you can protect yourself from unwanted surveillance. First, monitor your settings. With proper settings, you can adequately protect yourself from unwanted surveillance. So first for Android, you want to go to Google Settings, then Location, and in Location we want to be logged into the Google account. You can turn off location tracking. And also, it might be a good idea to turn off location services altogether until you need them, for example, when you're using Google Maps. As for an iPhone, there's a little bit more you can do in terms of settings. Android, you can additionally purchase or download other apps that can limit, such as Do Not Track Me or Privacy Badger. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to Privacy, go to Location Services within there. And here you'll see a list of apps that record your location services. Camera, of course, we want to turn off. We don't want any geotagging on our photos. And then it's kind of a personal decision of what you want on and what you want off. Some of them make sense, like weather. But then I want you to go to the bottom and go to system services. This, we want to turn off location-based ads, popular near me, and Wi-Fi networking. And then most importantly, you want to clear your history on your frequent locations and turn off frequent locations. And so this doesn't record where you go every day by itself. And then we're going to go to advertising and we're going to turn on limit ad tracking. And that way it will limit how we're being tracked for our ads and then resetting that will make us less identifiable. Like, oh, they like this. And then finally, we're going to go to general and background app refresh and we're just going to completely turn this off. When you see any purple arrows, that's the apps that right now, even if they're not even turned on, can be communicating with third-party networks. Additionally, keep your Wi-Fi network turned off as you're traveling around and only use secure networks. Second, remain aware of the changing politics in regard to the legality of civilian surveillance. In an age of technology, information is power. 
and it's important to understand the benefits and drawbacks from our interactions with technology so we can remain informed and adequately make decisions for ourselves. If you have further questions or want to get more involved, check out Me and My Shadow at myshadow.org to discover a toolkit to further your degree of security on the web. Additionally, check out the Electronic Frontier Foundation for defending your rights in the digital world.